I have with me Jared Wiberski and uh, we're just chatting, chit-chatting then Jared. Uh, you've got quite an, an interesting sort of family history there, haven't you? Because you're South African, yeah. but your name is Polish, is that right? Yeah, so further down the family line is obviously Polish, Polish nationality and obviously then moved to South Africa and then on to my grandparents who started racing in South Africa and then on to my dad who moved on to Wow, are you racing under the South African flag? Yes, so luckily I'm dual nationality, so I have a South African and British passport because my mom's from the UK. Okay. So that helps a little bit with the travelling. So, but yeah, I race under the South African flag as I was born and raised, raised there. And, and, wow, yeah, There's, and there is obviously talk of a Formula One race, uh, you know, Formula One returning to South Africa. It's been quite some time. I think it was maybe the 70s that they were last there, but message in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, and. How exciting would that be, that, that at your level now, that you could be racing in Formula One when it returns? Yeah, obviously I'm based in Kalami in South Africa, so I'm, I live next to that circuit. Oh. So to have, to have an F1 race there would be a dream, and obviously if I could race on a support F1 sport race or in F1 with that, that would be a dream come true. So yeah, hopefully they can definitely sort something in the next few years. Hopefully, because um, I'm guessing you might have been on that circuit quite often, and Maybe you've got a massive advantage there. I mean, funny story is, I've never actually driven Kyle Army. I've driven the kart circuit when I was younger, and yeah. then it got bought, and they've done a lot of renovations over the years, yeah. and then they didn't have any racing, and that's kind of, now they've started having races there, and I've just left South Africa, so I've never driven the new circuit, unfortunately, so it's definitely still on my bucket list to, to You have to, out. get the practice in, get the laps in, because, yeah. you know, if and when you get to F1, then obviously you've got a massive advantage because it's your home race as well. So the reason why we're chatting is, is not just to talk about South Africa and, and where you're from, um, is to talk about your race. Like we're on race one, round 16, how did it go for you? Obviously a good race, started P5 and ended up P3, so was really happy with that. I was a bit disappointed after qualifying as you know the car definitely had the pace to be on pole and we just got a bit unlucky with mm -hmm. such a short session and quite a bit of traffic in qualifying so yeah we, had, we, knew, we knew we had the pace to be in the top three definitely so to be in the top three on our worst set of tyres for the weekend I was quite quite impressed with that. Definitely I saw you at one point um, right up behind Louis Sharp and trying to sort of get in his slipstream and then trying to cut out from, from behind it um, and I think that might have been maybe lap one or something so, so how how was that for you how did that go for you how did that move go did you get past him yes yeah, so obviously I tried to get past Louis um, on the safety car restart and we got quite close but unfortunately I couldn't really obviously these cars have quite a bit of downfall so as soon as we get close it gets quite tricky to overtake but yeah obviously hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to move up a few spots yeah definitely um, you did all right here last time as well at Silverstone 1 I think you got a second last time didn't you? Did you get P2? I uh, got a second at uh, first round at Olsen Park and I had a P6 oh, I think thing. it was here the first time. Yeah, yeah one of our races got cancelled unfortunately. So it did. British weather. So. Yeah. And we're not, I don't think we're going to rerun that race are we? No, we've no. unfortunately lost that race because they, they can't fit it in, in any time schedules going forward. Yeah, really sad. Um, and we've obviously just returned from a European leg. Uh, you did all right there. How did that go for yeah, you? Yeah, not too bad. Obviously, I just too well. Hungary was our first first time going there, so that was quite nice to get the experience going into Hungary. Um, and you know, for the future, it's another track that we can, you know, I know and can learn going forward. Uh, obviously, it wasn't the greatest three rounds. Spa, we were, we struggled a little bit, and then you know, got taken out in quite a few races. So mm -hmm. just, it's quite nice to be back on UK soil and be going good <laughs> again. So. Yeah, because it probably still feels a little bit like home to you anyway, so being here. Yeah, obviously I'm just based in Toaster, just down the road from oh. the track, so Silverstone is my second home. <laughs> yeah, home, you could walk. Race. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Right, well, um, where are you starting tomorrow, remind me? Uh, P4 tomorrow. P4. Uh, P4, and then I'm not too sure in the reverse, it's uh, top 12 reverse, so I think P9 or something like that. Okay, so, yeah. all right. Well, I wish you well, and I hope you uh, make the podium again and get yourself a nice trophy again. And good luck for tomorrow, and congratulations for today. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you.